is this Aya is on her way to correct the music jewelers for the Dragon Lord. They're not ready. What am I going to tell her? Ashkar, I don't think you should. This procedure has not been authorized. Who are you? I am the spellbinder Ashka. I have no record of that name. Show me your bracelet. There is an intruder in the scholastery. There is I told you, let's get out of here! Scholastery. We didn't mean any harm. Do you know where Mech is? Where are you from? How did you get in here? I, I brought them, Masterling. They come from parallel worlds. You know, the Dragon Lord has forbidden strangers to enter our land. See that? Oh, hang on. Stay there. Ask the dog. What is happening here? Strangers, Master Ling? Enemies, Princess Aya. They tried to damage the Oracle. Oh, we didn't. Silence! Kathy is telling the truth, Princess. Be quiet, Mac. But you are wrong, Master. How dare you argue with me? Scholar Mac, please explain who these people are. Princess. Their names are Kathy and Ashka. Spellbinder Ashka. They come from other worlds. I brought them here in my transdimensional boat. That's enough! The princess isn't interested in your wild fantasies. What is a transdimensional boat? So I built a device which could generate a variable frequency energy field. And I installed it in this boat. Ah, that moves it to one of your... Uh, parallel worlds. <laughs> exactly. And there are an infinite number of them. Who knows what we could discover? Master Ling? Your scholars are a credit to you. Welcome to the land of the Dragon Lord. I hope your stay here will be a pleasant one. Thank you, Princess, but I really think I should be getting home. Of course. But first you must tell us about where you come from. Master Ling, have tea brought. Aya, I see there are strangers in my land. Bring them to the palace at once. What was that? You must come to the palace. You too. But I have to get home. My parents will be frantic. The Dragon Lord has summoned you. You must obey. Hey, mate. The doctor thought I might have concussion. He said people often see things after a hit in the head, didn't he? But I saw Kathy in the boat before I hit my head. Josh, you're confused. You don't know what you saw. Josh says he had an argument with Kathy before she ran off. Oh, well, that explains it. You snapped at her too. She probably just wants to spend a bit of time on her own. She's been gone for hours. Or what if she's been bitten by a snake or, or, or fell down a hole or... Or been abducted by an alien. Josh! Probably just got herself lost. Come on, let's go look for her. I'll leave a note in case she comes back. Come on, Natalie. My ancestors came to this land over 400 years ago. We spellbinders have ruled my land much longer than that. Oh, really? Tell me, Kathy, are there people like us living in your world? Heaps. But most of them live in a place called China. Australia was first inhabited by Aborigines, and then the English came. I've heard of the English, 
They're a primitive tribe who live in the Northern Hemisphere. They paint themselves blue, and then they run around half naked waving sticks. <laughs> That's their football supporters. Does your world have a dragon lord? Not where I come from. Who is this dragon lord? He's my brother. Kathy, we're not angry with you, sweetheart. We just want to know you're all right. She can't have come this far. <laughs> we'll go to these hills, and then we'll sweep back around the lake. Oh, we should be going back to the place where she vanished. Josh, she hasn't vanished. Dragon Lord. It has been his home for 300 years. You mean he's immortal? What is that above the palace? The sun lens. It directs light into the oracle in the palace. So there is more than one oracle? No more questions, please. The Dragon Lord must not be kept waiting. Dragon Lord will let me go home, won't you? No one can guess what the Dragon Lord will do. He's a fearsome temper. back at the camp first. You forgot to fill it up with petrol, didn't you? I'm sorry. It's okay. It's a full jerry can in the back. Oh, uh, no, there isn't. You took it out to get some petrol to light the fire. Princess Aya, I'm glad that you're back. Your brother is in a terrible mood. Do you have me the good juice? I'm afraid not, Zenzo. They are not finished yet. The Dragon Lord has been looking forward to seeing them all day. He speaks of nothing else. I'm glad I'm not you, Scorda. The Dragon Lord will be furious. I will try and calm him. Princess, what about us? Just do as Zenzo tells you. You must be the barbarians who tried to damage the oracle. We didn't. I am not a barbarian. I am a spellbinder. Save your excuses for the Dragon Lord and hope he is merciful. Come! Stand there and be perfectly still. When the Dragon Lord appears, get down on your knees and bow to him. Do not look up until you are told. Do not do anything unless you are told. I'm sorry, Kathy. I never meant for this to happen. Silence! Dreadlord, great and fearsome warrior, lord of the earth and the water and the sky, 
your humble subjects, quaking terror as we await you. God, Lord, is coming. Near! Or be struck down! I don't think you should. This procedure has not been authorized. Who are you? I am the spellbinder Ashka. I have no record of that name. Show me your bracelet. I, I brought them, Masterling. They come from parallel worlds. You know, the Dragon Lord has forbidden strangers to enter our land. See that? Uh, hang on. Stay back. Ashka, no. What is happening here? Princess Aya is on her way to correct the music jewelers for the Dragon Lord. They're not reading! What am I going to tell her? Who are these strangers? Masterling? Enemies, Princess Aya. There is an intruder in the Scholastro. There is a you. Let's get out of here. We didn't mean any harm. Do you know where Mech is? Where are you from? How did you get in here? <laughs> 